Hey everybody, Garrett's back with the tutorial for Chris Capehart's box change. So what you guys are going to need to make this trick, I warn you, I'm going to warn you right now, gimmick alert, alright? This is a gimmick card trick, you cannot do this impromptu, you're going to have one deck and one gimmick card. Well, not really a gimmick card, just a card with some writing on it. So what you're going to need is you're going to get a card with the same back design as the back of your card box. And you're going to need a Sharpie. Now, these are both easy things to find. I'm using the Chris Ingram Mind Freak deck that came out of the Mind, Ultimate Mind Freak Magic Kit, but you can use the back of a bicycle if you want. You can use any deck you really want to, just as long as you have the same back design as you do on the back of the cards. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take, like, a Joker or some card you don't need with the same back design and write the name of the card on the back of the card. So, in this case, I wrote Eight of Spades on the back of the card. I don't know how well you can see that. It says Eight of S. Eight of spades, and then you're gonna get the, de the deck box and write the name of another card on the back of the deck box. So I wrote four of hearts. I don't think it says of, but it says four heart. So you get the point. It says four hearts. Then you're gonna need the half of the cellophane, or what I did is I just got the plastic that came off a of gum wrapper and taped it to the back of the box, not along the top here, but only along the sides. So what I can do is take the card with the writing on it and slide it into the cellophane so that, it's set, so that it looks pretty clean like it says eight of spades on the back of the box then what you do is whatever card you wrote down on the back of the box in my case the four of hearts you're going to want on the top of the deck so the only reason you, you need that is because you're going to be forcing that card so what you do is you make sure you put the cards in face up towards the back of the box. Face up towards the back like this. Make sure those cards going like that. Then you slip your card with your writing on it in the cellophane like this. And you're set to do the trick. All you need to do is point out how the magicians will go to great lengths to remember the cards they need to force. So say it's, and talk about how yours says eight of spades. So and have them remember that card. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to angle the box down. And really what you're doing, when you angle it like this, really what you're doing, when you're taking the cards out, when you shake the cards out, you're going to be pulling that eight of spades, that, uh, that written card, out of the cellophane at the same time. And make sure it's square as possible. And then when you turn the... But the deck is going to be turned face down while you're doing this. So, once you have the deck like this, I just do this move like this. It doesn't look like much. But really what, did I, did, but really what I did is I flipped that bottom card over. <clears throat> Sorry, and all that is is it's not a Mercury card fold or anything like that. All it is is this: you just take your thumb, drag it apart, and flip it. That's pretty much all you gotta do. So quickly, so it looks like this. So quickly, it looks like this. That's all it is. The card flips over, and all the cards are face down. Then you are gonna do any force you want on the spectator of the top card, four of hearts in my case. I, I know several different ritual forces. I did the classic force in the video. Um, I'll briefly go over that. What you'll do is you spread through and as they reach out to pick a card, you quickly spread to your card that you want to force. And they'll grab that card, the four of hearts. And then you'll say exactly, that's the card that I told you you were going to pick. Meanwhile, they'll say they'll argue with you and they'll say no, it's not. No, it's not. You said eight of spades or whatever card you had written down on the back of that card, and then you'll say you have no proof. When they say the proof is the back of the box, pull out the box and show that it says four of hearts or whatever card you forced. Once you've got that done, this will blow spectators away. It's a great opener for shows. It's it's just an awesome effect. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love the reactions you get. It's great for walk around as well. Alright, I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If not, just leave a comment on what I could be more helpful on, and I'll hope and I'll follow up on, a, on another video later. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.